Good morning, YouTube. Bill Hensley here, and today, today is an awesome day. I'm doing something that I've never done before with my electric car. I am taking it on a long-distance road trip. You heard right, an electric vehicle going the distance. What I plan on doing today is taking this vehicle from Lewiston, Maine, all the way down to Tiverton, Rhode Island, and then back. That is a 475 mile road trip in an electric vehicle. So stay tuned, this is gonna be awesome. And how do I plan on making it down there and back in one day? For that, we turn to PlugShare. One of the questions I get a lot is where do you plug in? And although most of your day-to-day -day charging can be done at home overnight, by visiting the PlugShare website or downloading their free app, you can easily see where charging stations are located and begin to plan out your trip. Now as you can see here, there are a lot of charging stations in New England alone. We're looking at a mix of level 2 and level 3, as well as level 1 charging on this map. Now because I don't want to spend more than a half an hour at any one location, I'm going to narrow it down to the DC fast chargers, which are the orange ones shown here. By doing this, I have a good idea of where I can plug in, and I can also check on stations ahead of time to see if there have been any issues or if it's currently occupied. So after checking out the map on PlugShare, I've come up with a list of DC fast chargers that I'll be using for this trip. So here we go. We're about to start our trip to Tiverton, Rhode Island. Looking good. So here we are. I'm on the first leg of my trip. I'm headed towards the interstate right now. You can see I've got both of my GPS's running. This one has my first uh, stop plugged into it. And then I've got PlugShare right here. So I can see charging stations as I'm approaching them. If for whatever reason, oh, <laughs> if, for, if for whatever reason I feel that I'm not gonna make it to my destination, I can always pull over and plug into any one of the other charging stations that appear on this map. Approaching freeway entrance on the right. Main turnpike, followed by a remain on the current road. Here we go. <laughs> it's all interstate driving from here. Tiverton, Rhode Island, here I come. All right, so I've been cruising along here. Been on the interstate now for, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. I've driven uh, 22 miles total since I left the house. I am at 80% charge, so that pretty much tells me I'm getting about 1%, just a little bit better, but I'm getting about 1% for every mile driven, which is okay for me because that means we'll get down to Hannaford, which is 77 miles away, and I'll have about 13 or 15% left on the battery when I pull in. Here I am, I'm at 50% on my battery, and the guessometer it has finally lined up with what I've known all along. It says I can do 54 more miles. I've done 52.1 so far, and again, I just need to do that 77 to get there. So I've got 25 more miles, if that, to go. We're, we're doing pretty good. I can't wait till these areas here have uh, charging stations. It's nice that they got gas for everyone else, but man, the future's coming, people. You need to put charging stations in. And there we go. I made it to my first EVgo hookup. I'm at a Hannaford location here in York, Maine. And I made it here with 19% left on the battery. You can see I drove 78.3 miles. It's amazing. I still had 19 miles I could do with 19%, so it's pretty much right on. <laughs> and I grew four trees in my travels. So... 34 degrees outside and that's the other thing I've been cycling the heat on and off I haven't had the heat on the whole time but I also haven't uh, been freezing my butt off here either so <laughs> so here's something cool that I didn't know about just a few days ago I was checking around to see if EVgo has an app and they do so I loaded it in on my phone and it pretty much tells you how long you've been hooked up for you can see right here I've been hooked up for just over 15 minutes going on 16 minutes here uh, you know, I, I went in, I used the restroom real quick, and I, and I came back out, and I just decided to check out the app, and that's, that's pretty neat. And I've got, uh, what do I got here? 56% already back on my battery, so, you know, in, a, in another 15 minutes, I'm going to be done, and we can continue on our little road trip adventure here. <laughs> 
There we go. All done charging. Our next stop is going to be Lowell, Massachusetts. So there, that wasn't too bad. Hooked up for a half an hour, got me up to 84% of a charge. So we only need to drive another 47 miles to get to Lowell, Approaching Massachusetts. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's where we're heading next is uh, Lowell, Massachusetts, 47 miles away from here. Gonna hook up to the, our next fast charger at the next Hanford. So here we are. I'm at the bottom of Maine. I'm about to leave Maine for the first time in my electric car. This is so awesome. <laughs> we're crossing the bridge here. We're go go getting into uh, New Hampshire. And uh, right now you can see I am following this uh, semi truck. And this is actually a trick that I learned watching a lot of my different electric car shows, whether it be uh, fully charged or like Tesla. In fact, I think I found this on like Tesla. If you, if you travel behind one of these uh, semi trucks, the wind that goes over the top of the truck will go over your vehicle and you'll get uh, less wind resistance, which will also up your mileage. So I'm not necessarily gonna tailgate this guy, but I'm gonna stay you know, pretty close because then I can keep up with traffic and uh, you know, I'll, I'll get better fuel economy. So there we go, I'm in New Hampshire now. Check that out, awesome. <laughs> and just as an example here for that fuel economy, you can see I like wow right now it just keeps going up it's like on four and then it, it jumps up but yeah staying behind him it actually does help well I missed the part where we uh, entered into Massachusetts because New Hampshire is just so darn short <laughs> for this trip at least and we are now on 495 and there's another semi up ahead it's, it's another Walmart truck but uh, <laughs> I'm gonna catch up to that one and do the same thing that I've been doing I think that's why I missed uh, getting into Massachusetts because I was so busy concentrating on keeping the proper distance between my uh, vehicle and the semi. So <laughs> yeah, we're going to get right up against him too. And uh, well, not right up against, but you, you know what I mean. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so I'm back on the road now. I didn't record the last uh, charging session when I got there. It turned out to be 55 miles away, not 47. But uh, anyways, <laughs> I get there and for the first time, I finally got to a charging station where somebody, it was it was preoccupied. Somebody was there charging up their BMW. So, but the guy was like really cool. He was so cool about it. He, he allowed me to uh, uh, plug in. He, he moved his car, he unplugged, moved his car and allowed me to go ahead and plug in my car because he knew I was on a trip. So. And we got to talk and, you know, just EV owners just, you know, shooting the, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, it was it was really awesome. And that's that's really, really cool of him to let me plug in so I can continue on my trip here. So uh, our next stop is at about 30 miles. So I don't have too far to go at all. And that's the other thing. I didn't, I didn't stay there for half an hour. I felt like I probably was. I, I was just there talking with him for such a long time. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we just have to go 30 miles now to our next uh, charging station and we're, we'll be good. So I made it to my uh, third charging station at uh, 601 Donald Lynch Boulevard in Marlboro, Massachusetts. However, it's a mall and I'm trying to find it right now. So we're going to drive around the mall. I got my uh, PlugShare app open here. And if it's accurate, according to PlugShare, I am on the back side of the mall and I need to get to the front. So I'm just gonna, you know, drive real slowly, look out for pedestrians, and keep my eyes peeled for this charger that's supposed to be here somewhere. So <laughs> so that's that's the only thing. It's a bit of an adventure when you um go to an unknown area. And it's like you, you don't know where these things are located. So <laughs> a gas station you pull in, it's like, it's right there, you know? But things are getting better and It'd be nice if there were signs or something, you know, it's like charging stations this way, but I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find it. We'll just do a loop around the mall. Nice thing is, though, going five miles an hour does not take anything off the battery. <laughs> All right, looking for the charger. Let's see. Oh, is it right here? I think I found it. I, I see green poles. That's a good sign. Anytime you see green poles, Yep, yeah, and there it is, right there, EV charging. So I am going to pull in here and get my charge on. There we go.
And there you have it. I am now at my third charging station. So I'm going to go ahead and hook up here. It's uh, 1214. It's taken me a little bit longer, but I've driven a little bit slower. And then I did talk to that uh, gentleman there at the, um, what was it, 777 Rogers Street in Lowell, Massachusetts. That was a uh, Hannaford location. So and there I go. I arrived here with 39%. And as you can see, I've only been charging for 29 seconds there. So <laughs> this is my third stop. I'm get a quick shot over here right in front of an Italian restaurant. <laughs> we got the mall right here. It's a good location. So this is awesome. I went in the mall over there and on the upper floor they have a food court. So, and there's a Burger King. So I was able to get Burger King to go. And what's even better is that they accepted my $5 coupon. So I didn't have to spend like an arm and a leg because it's the uh, Burger King at a food court. So $5, I got my uh, crispy chicken sandwich meal. So go me and that's that's the thing these EV go systems charge point systems they would be more conveniently located if they were at fast food joints right off the interstate that would be a dream come true because then you wouldn't have to go searching for malls or searching for Hannaford's or Shaw's or it's like put them at the fast food places you know right off the interstate but hey this works for me and even though it was kind of hard finding this place I'm glad I found it it's a sweet location and there's also a level two charger, but I'm fast charging here. And to my surprise, <laughs> I'm up to 91%. So this one's really doing very good. I'm, I'm narrowly charged here. So I got one more location to go to, and then I'll be in uh, Fall River and Tiverton, uh, Rhode Island. So I'm just about done here. I'm just finishing up. And our next stop is going to be Rayham, Massachusetts. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, that'll be the last place that we charge up. It's 50 miles away. And that last place that I charge up at will give me just enough juice so that I can make the 20 to 25 mile-ish trip into Tiverton, Rhode Island. And then once I'm there, I will, uh, you know, I'll hang out for a little bit maybe and I'll make the return trip. 25 miles back, that just takes off 50 and then I can charge up there and do the same trip in reverse. Just before I uh, head out here, I wanted to get a quick shot of the total driving distance I've done so far today. I have driven 165 miles. <laughs> so in one day, I've, I've already put on 165 miles on my Nissan Leaf. I've reset the trip, as you can see, so I know how far I have to go for my next stop. And again, it's going to be 50 miles away in Rayham, Massachusetts. For my last stop at Maestra Nissan in Raham, Massachusetts, I came across two dealer cars that were blocking the DC fast charger. I simply went inside to find someone who could move the cars so that I could plug in. I also found out that they were only open till 5 and that they closed the gate after hours which meant I was going to have to cut my trip short in Rhode Island as I had planned on using this same location for my return trip home. Alright, so I made it this far. I am at Fall River, Massachusetts. I am where the Harbor Mall used to be, but there it is completely different now. There, there's no more mall. It's just a bunch of these uh, other businesses in the area. But yeah, um, it's, it's crazy. I, I'm definitely here, as you can see on the map. I'm at uh, William S. Cannon Boulevard. So yeah, this is, uh, this is Fall River, and I'm just like literally two, maybe three miles away from my old neighborhood in Tiverton, Rhode Island. <laughs> Well, I have to say that this has been one interesting trip. I got to go see my uh, friend's parents who I haven't seen in ages. They're doing awesome, by the way. Um, and I'm back on the road. I'm heading back to Maine. So I'll keep you guys updated and more, more on this later. So here I am. I'm back in uh, 
what is it, Rayham, Massachusetts. I'm at the Maestra Nissan <laughs> Auto Dealer. So I am doing my return trip now, and I've been here for, oh, let's see here, about 20 minutes. I'm just charging up. I've been posting on Facebook a lot and uh, just sending photos and texts and things, but I've got my uh, waypoint set. I'm, I'm ready to go to my next uh, uh, charging station, and that's about 50 miles away. I'm doing the return trip, and I'm just taking it easy as I go, but uh, and I'm trying to document as much as I can. I don't know how interesting of a YouTube video this is going to be, but there are areas that I wish I had recorded, and then others that I think it's just kind of repetitive, but I'm just showing you my experience, and uh, so far, let's uh, scroll down here, my total driving distance today has been 268 miles. <laughs> So, definitely have done more than 100 miles that this car can do. <laughs> and that's thanks to the fast charging. So, it, I'm, I'm having a blast and it's just, it's, you know, it's a proof of concept. It can be done. And I just wanted to show everyone with the proper infrastructure, you can drive your car on a long distance road trip. All right, it's my second stop here at the Solemn Pond mall road or whatever the heck it's called it's been a long day but i'm gonna get some dinner at burger king i made it back home well not quite i'm in maine i'm back at york maine i'm at the uh, hannaford location here in york and <laughs> i gotta show you something here because this this is crazy i've never got the car down this low before let me switch cameras i've got the battery low symbol and my miles over here is blinking 15 miles. <laughs> I pushed it. I, I skipped over one of the uh, charge stations because I was like, you know what? I think I can make it. And I proved to myself I could, but man, did I stretch it here. <laughs> I got the light on up here saying that it's time to plug in the one that looks like a, a gas tank, but it's, it's not. It's a, an electrical plug right there. <laughs> I got the battery level is low. I drove 86.7 miles. I could still do 15 if I really wanted to push it. And that's highway driving at like 70 miles an hour. I am so impressed how well this car did. And let's see here if I can exit out of this. There we go, 13%. That's how low I got it down to, 13%. Oh, that's crazy. And yeah, you can see I got my uh, trees here. So one of those triangles is because I, un I unbuckled. And then the other one, the... um. Oh, what is it? The well, let me let me buckle up real quick, and one should one should go away. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, the so that triangle right there is just telling me like warning, your battery's low. Warning, your battery's low. You need to pull over. <laughs> I guess I can't get that message back, can I? Nope, nope, can't get the message back. But that's all right. And yeah, check this out. So so look at this. My average is a three point seven. So I did really good for highway speeds and 13 percent and where where are we oh it's weird it says 40 i was not driving 40 trust me <laughs> i think a lot of that's just looking for a um charging station and when i'm driving around the mall and i'm only going five miles an hour it throws that into your average but anyways uh driving distance 407 miles and i still have 77 miles to go this is this is crazy the, the amount of driving i've done today in just one day and again it's 8 16 so I got about, well, I got a charge here for a half an hour, but I, I have about an hour and a half, maybe, not quite, just, just under an hour and a half to get home. So now I've thought I'd drop it down to about 55 because, you know, this is the last stretch. That all I got to do is just make it home less than 70 miles now. Uh, but the only thing that concerns me is the battery temperature. I am one bar below it getting into the red zone. And although the car hasn't indicated that there's any issues or anything right now, I'm just taking it easy, taking it nice and slow, and just gonna work my way home. It's uh, 9.15 right now, so yeah, I should be able to get home by just, just after 10 o'clock. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, 10.04, and I know I had said earlier that the uh, Hannaford in York was gonna be the last one I hook, hooked up to. But I decided to uh, uh, stop in here at the Hannaford in South Portland because this EVgo system had been reported on that it's been down and people have been reporting on December uh, the 
31st and five days ago that it was down but I called EVgo and they said that they had fixed it so I decided to unplug early at the Hannaford in York and I decided to uh, come over here and check it out and sure enough it's working so just as a um, courtesy you know I'm gonna put it in on plug share and let everybody know that this charger is working because I know people like to report things when they are down but not so much when they're back up and running again so <laughs> I thought I'd do this for the uh, you know general public and let everybody know that hey you can uh, plug into this one it is working again and forgive me if uh, my speech is slurring or whatnot but it is 10.05 it's been a long day <laughs> but hey you know look at this I have driven 400 and 48 miles <laughs> so that is that is amazing I can't believe I by the time I'm all said and done I would have put nearly 500 miles on this car in in one day uh, battery temperature is still looking good uh, it, you know it's freaked me out a couple of times because I haven't seen it that high in a long time uh, in the summer that's kind of normal but in the winter you know and it's just it's and you know what it's driving so much better it's so comfortable to drive in this car I'm telling you and <laughs> I'll have to talk more about that in the morning but when I uh, get a chance to actually get my thoughts together and and uh, spit things out without trying to <laughs> trust me it, it's late and I can't wait to just get home I, just, I got under an hour I'll get home it'll be 11 o'clock and it's time for bed and with that I made it home check it out <laughs> it is 1109 37 degrees outside I still have 36 percent on the battery 45 more miles I could have driven off of that charge battery temperature it's high but it's not red so that's good considering how many Chadmio quick charges I've had today that is just simply amazing this this car has performed and outperformed and I'm just so impressed with it let's let's see here we go to um and there's the total driving distance 487.8 miles now keep in mind it says I drove for 12 and a half hours I did not drive for 12 see how it just changed to uh, from 35 to 36 when I uh, quick charge for those half an hours I kept the car on so I could keep the heat going so you know I could be comfortable in the car and um so yeah I'll have to add up how many uh, quick charges I had but obviously it wasn't 12 hours it wasn't six hours down and six hours back it was more like total driving time was probably four or four and a half down and same thing back four and four and a half up but I will uh, do the math on that in the morning but I'm just I'm glad to be home the, the car like I said I'm so impressed with this Nissan Leaf I'm telling you all electric vehicle <laughs> so that's that um yeah I'll, I'll, I'll talk some more in the morning so uh, good night, and we'll see you tomorrow. So here we are the next morning. I just had a uh, power nap. <laughs> I've been sleeping for the past six hours, but I've had this plugged in, and she's charged back up to 100%, and as you can see, it shed the heat pretty good it's uh back down to oh what do we got here one two three four five bars so the, the the heat has dissipated and that was with charging i had it charging and it's it looked like it stopped charging at about three o'clock in the morning and here it is uh 5 29 and it's uh 39 degrees out if you can see that so so uh doing really good i'm back up to 119 miles that i can drive I've reset the trip there and yeah I was I'm, I'm impressed I, I, I was thinking that maybe that those uh, heat bars would still be up there but it does a really good job on getting rid of that heat on its own the passive air cooling so that's that's impressive and that's about it if I've done nothing else in this video I hope I've been able to show you that the electric car is not just a city car but you can use it and you can take it on long trips. If you've liked this video, then please subscribe to my channel and click the bell notification below and you'll be notified as soon as a new video is uploaded.
please like, subscribe, and share. And until next time, I'm Bill Hensley, and I'll see you later.